I came across this video on TikTok and I don't know how I ended up on Schizo Talk, but it's called The Dark Secrets of Avatar Exposed. There's a documentary called six. Revival of Evil and there was this art And this teacher, is like the most schizo God, shit out God I've ever and seen. He started dude. worshiping Satan and he said, Satan, I want you to show me what you look like because I want to paint you and I want to look at that thing as a visual of who I worship so that it would give me more faith. And he said he shut out all the lights, closed Listen all the this, blinds, man. and he pulled out a canvas and he started painting. And he said every movement he made was something else moving him. Another force was physically directing my body. Painted for several hours and I was finished. It was the most fantastic painting I've ever done. Whoa. And the painting looks just like one of those beings from the Avatar Oh my movies. God, dude. It just happens. All so right, so it? yeah, so yeah, that that's... And there's a whole video about this, right? There's a whole video I on they, they the shocking that truth by about design, a kind of Trojan horse. We by design. So this is just like a whole ass 20 minute long schizo video talking about how how Avatar is basically made by Satan or something. Uh, is it really different than any other story you've ever heard? Bro, that's so true. That's so true, bro. Uh, Avatar, like the first Avatar movie was the most unoriginal dog shit like uninspired plot ever dude I'm 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 an avatar hater I'm going to come right out and say it I don't care that it's having this new revival and people are all of a sudden are fans of avatar now where were all these avatar fans the last 10 years cuz they're just coming out of the woodwork now I'm a certified avatar hater I will be an avatar hater till I die okay I'm going to watch the second movie and I'm going to sit there throughout the whole runtime hating, screaming at the screen, saying, fuck you, Avatar. I liked Avatar 1 when it came out, but admittedly, mostly because of the visuals. The visuals is literally the only thing, bro. Like, the plot was so bad, it pissed me off. It was literally like, they just copied Pocahontas, but made it worse somehow. And it was just so corny and contrived and stupid. And the guy who's the main actor... All right, I don't want to shit on the guy. No charisma. I have never seen a leading man in a movie that had so little charisma in the entire history of film. Okay, what what, what is that guy's name, dude? Sam Worthington, right? This mother sucker right here, Sam Worthington. This guy, they Hollywood was trying to push this guy on us so hard, bro. He was in like a bunch of big movies in the span of like three years, and he's dog shit. Zero charisma, dude. Put me in a movie. I'll do better than this guy. You know how people are always like, oh, you think you could do better? I know I could do better than this motherfucker, bro. Avatar stole the plot from Fern Gully. Dude, I gotta watch this Fern Gully movie. I've never even heard of it, dude. But it's probably better than Avatar. It replaced the second highest grossing film, which James Cameron also made. <clears throat> that was... Oh, that's another... This reminds me. That's another thing. People say that James Cameron... Like, sold his soul to the devil. He's like the Illuminati or something because he had the two highest grossing films ever made. Avatar and Titanic. Titanic. James Cameron is the Dude, director. it's like, this dude sold his soul. Honestly, I believe it. Cause that's how dog shit Avatar is. Like, this guy must have sold his soul. If an enemy was in this world, or if a... Oh, a world ruler wanted to use something to manipulate the minds, to change the, the mindset of the masses, he would probably use something like the number one top-selling movie of all time. Dude, it, Avatar has so little cultural impact. The only reason people talk about Avatar, well, up until recently because the sequel's coming out, the only reason people have talked about Avatar is because it was the highest grossing movie of all time for no fucking reason, all right? So don't say that it has some kind of influence on people because it doesn't, all right? Like, all of a sudden, all these fake fans are coming out now, but in the past 10 years, there has been very little discussion about this movie other than, hey, remember when, when, I, when the 3D... No. All right, stop being stupid, bro. Your, your video's already silly, and I'm not even two minutes in. Just a sort of Pocahontas story that located... Well, hold on. Film, he I said think, it himself. He said it himself. ...critics as being too simplistic. Okay. Manner. I mean, the film, I think, was dismissed by some critics as being too simplistic, too familiar a story. 
just a sort of Pocahontas story. That, yeah, dude, that's me. I'm some critic. You know, my focus was on the design, the fabric of the world, the feeling evoked by the watching. When people have that. So he's basically saying that he didn't give two shits about the plot as long as the movie looked good. So when you watch the movie, it's evoking a, a sense of moral outrage. But wait a minute, movie- Is it though? I didn't feel anything when I watched Avatar. I'm investing millions of dollars into this entertainment that it's packaged in as a Trojan horse, and you're gonna sit down and be comfortable and watch it because it's gonna change your mind about things. By design, a kind of Trojan horse to allow you to deal with a very- He said Trojan horse, he said it. He said Trojan problem. horse. But he said he made Avatar because he wanted to put a message in there, an emotional message wrapped up in this Trojan horse of entertainment to invoke a certain emotion out of people that's gonna stir up a, a moral outrage. That's what he said. All the Christian mythology is there, the Buddhist, the Buddhist principles are there, then you come up with the Egyptian mythology. So I don't know, I mean, I know that you, you could not have done this without a conscious understanding of many of these principles, but in terms of the ecumenicism of it, and yeah, the universality yeah. of these principles, I, I thought was uh, I have no idea what the I hell wanted you're that saying. environmental theme in there. I wanted those kind of spiritual themes in there. He said, yes, that was by design. That was not an accident that these spirits spiritual things are tied into the movie um people all the Holy time shit, say why dude. do you make it rayman avatar equals blue walter white meth equals blue confirmed oh my god dude wait avatar and breaking bad are in the same universe fuck i just think it's interesting mm. that she even picked up on the ecumenicalism of it that this movie is supposed to enrage you about climate change about the environment okay man was anybody enraged after watching avatar i don't think anybody was enraged after watching avatar i think everybody was enraged when they walked out of the movie theater after they saw avatar because they're like man i just wasted fucking 24 dollars if, if it got out that there was an environmental message to this film it would cost us 50 percent of our box office if it got out if the secret got out dude i think it was pretty clear the bag that there was what the fuck is this guy talking about man agenda. so he had to keep it a secret that there was an agenda in the movie so i threw everything i had at getting it uh at, at making it a, a great piece of entertainment and that was the 3d and the cg and, right. the, and the the uh creating the world and everything i knew how to do every Good trick point, i right? knew to get people to come to a theater and then every trick i knew as a filmmaker to to uh engage mm -hmm. them he said I had to throw in every trick I knew as a director, as a producer, every trick, deception, to get people to come to a theater to watch something that looks bro, like entertainment. Bro, this guy's looking too, way too far into it, bro. That way. So for anyone that says it's just entertainment, you're, you're looking too deep into it. I just said that! that. I just said that! Oh my god, dude, this guy's reading my thoughts. He was wanting you to believe. That was the trick. That was the Trojan horse that you fell for. So we're not the crazy ones. Anyone who's saying- anyone No, who... you're definitely the crazy one. Look, I have no illusions about the efficacy of an of a entertainment motion picture in changing public policy. But as a society, we're in denial. Well, what is denial but a mental mechanism in response to an emotional uh, reaction, which is fear? Fear of change, fear of an uncertain future, fear for our children, uh, and and the fear generates the denial. So I figure you fight an emotion with an emotion. Avatar doesn't teach you facts. It doesn't have one bar graph That's true. in it. Okay. It's not inconvenient truth, but it does create a sense of emotional outrage, and it creates a sense. Dude, of again, who walked out of Avatar thinking to themselves, "Man, we got to do something about the environment." No one! So he's creating this movie to invoke an emotion out of you to fight another emotion. This is a, a psychological warfare, and he's blatantly telling you that this is what he's doing. Psychologically, bring a sense of urgency. Dude, it's so crazy how this guy has no emotion behind his eyes. After they saw the Avatar movie, they had this post-Avatar depression syndrome. Check out this comment left on a fan website. Here it is. When I woke up this morning after watching Avatar for the first time yesterday, the world seemed gray. 
It was like my whole life, everything I've done and worked for lost its meaning. See, that's how shitty this movie was, dude. I felt the same way. If they see I have 3D, never really heard about this, it. dude. And then their world. I'm sure they found like five people that were depressed after watching Avatar. And they're like, there's an epidemic. The Avatar blues. This movie brings depression. So the fucking stupid ass news does, man. They like make people think that things that are experienced by like five or ten people. It's more widespread than it is. There were over a thousand posts on how to deal with post avatar. A thousand posts? Dude! Three billion people saw this movie. Oh, but there was a thousand posts. Shut the fuck up. On what is happening here? You cannot deny this. You cannot deny that movies have an effect on your emotional state of mind, that it can change your way of thinking. People over and over say, that movie changed my life. The Matrix, it changed my life. These directors are openly telling you from... Bro, from that's how I feel about Boss Baby, dude. That movie changed my life. That movie made me want to go out and be a boss. <laughs> because if he is... In fact, being used by the enemy. If the enemy wanted to Who's use enemy? influential people to try to Who's change the, enemy? the world, to try and get people to believe a lie, that the dragon is going to deceive the entire world, oh, then grief. James Cameron would have to be getting this information from the spirit world in some way. So this is going back to 1970. Okay, now we're now we're going into straight schizo territory. I think. The thing this is, is interesting. It's getting good now. Is sometimes I write it down. Sometimes it's an image, and I'll go I'll go draw or paint that image. And I quickly painted as many of them as I could remember. One of them was a glowing forest and trees that kind of looked like fiber optics. Well, guess what? Cut to you know 30 years later. I'm making a movie where we're spending millions of dollars to actually create that image, but that image came in a in a dream. When when I was uh, 18 years old. He had dreams when he was 18 years old about Avatar, and now it is a reality, and now he's telling you. Okay, so an... this guy's saying that James Cameron got prophetic dreams about the movie Avatar when he was 18 from the spirit world. I had a dream when I was like seven years old about, about a guy who was trying to block out the sun so that he could no 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 he was trying to make it so the sun was out 24 hours a day so he could always get a tan so are you saying that if i made a movie out of that it like that dream was from freaking shaitan what the hell is this guy talking about we all call it revival of evil and there was here we go bro here's the schizo stuff teacher and he gave up on god he cussed out god and started worshiping satan and he said satan i want you to show me what you look like because I want to paint you and I want to look at that thing as a visual of who I worship so that it would give me more faith. And he said he shut Bro, out all the wild. lights, closed all the blinds, and he pulled out a is Dude, is this even a real movie? Let's see. Revival of Evil. Revival of Evil investigates the growth of the occult, the United States from New Age religions and Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my God, dude. These are the motherfuckers that think that Dungeons and Dragons is satanic. As a Christian, like, it's so sad to see, like, how cringe some of my fellow Christians are and, like, how they just sink into this rabbit hole of just, like, stupid shit. Every movement he made was something else moving him. Another force was physically directing my body. Orlando and Brown. Several hours and I was finished. It was the most fantastic. Oh movie my ever God, done. bro. That's that's the Avatar painting looks just like one of those oh my god the Avatar bro. movies oh my god bro so what is Avatar it? is satanic confirms bro what does Avatar mean oh my it comes god from Sanskrit and it means descent it's I guarantee you that it probably isn't but actually the incarnation of a spiritual being or a the descent of a deity to the earth in an incarnate form powerful deity on earth. So I mean, so literally Jesus. So I immediately think of the Garden of Eden when I think of a powerful entity that came to Earth and manifested to Eve and said, "Eat this fruit from this forbidden tree of knowledge." There's also a sacred tree in the movie Avatar. Oh my God! There's a tree in the movie. Holy shit, man! There has never been another movie with a tree in it. So the main character's okay. name is Jake Sully. Oh my god, his name's Jake Sully. It's Satan confirmed, bro. Shaitan. And he comes confirmed. from out there to this Earth-like planet. Oh my 
God, where bro. he meets the girl at the sacred tree. And his name, Jake, originates from the word Jacob, which means supplanter. And the word supplanter means to transgress civil or moral law. His last name, Sully, actually means... Oh my defile. God, bro! No one on this planet has the name Sully. So this, this is absolutely his incredible. Name means the lawbreaker who's coming to defile meets a woman at the tree. Oh my and an interesting gosh, thing dude. to he note is that he tree. can't walk. Just like the serpent in the Garden of Eden was cursed. Okay, bro, come on, man. The planet's name is Pandora. And if you look at the story of Pandora's box, Zeus gave his daughter this box, but she was told not to open it. Very familiar with the story of the Garden of Eden where God put Eve in a garden and said, there's one thing you're not supposed to touch or eat from. Well, she opened Pandora's box and out of it came all the evils to fill the earth. Just like when Eve bit from that fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and her eyes were opened and the earth was cursed. It's also interesting to note that the actress- Oh, dude, why does that look so much creepier in black and white? His name who plays Natiri, the main character in the movie, her name is Zoe. When you look at the name Zoe, it's actually from the word Eve. This Bro, that's her fucking name. How is that proof of anything? That's literally her name, dude. She didn't choose her name. Come on, Maybe bro. Maybe completely a coincidence, but I think it's- Yes, it is completely a coincidence, you schmuck. It's interesting that the main- You dead-eyed schmuck. Character female, who is a representation of Eve in the garden next to that sacred tree, who is met by this being from out there who's a deceiver, who's coming to defile- is named Eve. So this movie, like so many other movies, what? has this not that this being from out there comes to Earth, meets a woman at the tree. Okay, except he's not from out there. He's from Earth. Falls in love with her, and now he's joining in a resistance against those beings. Just like we know that Jesus is coming to Earth to destroy the Earth. But who is going to fight against Christ and all his angels? It will be Satan and his army of wicked who are uniting together we with go, all bro. the militaries of the world to Here fight we go. Christ at his second coming. And if you're on the side of Christ, then we need not worry because we're going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. It's the wicked who are running into the cave saying, hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. These movies that have this message tied into it, it's a Gnostic message. A message. Bro, okay, honestly, I have a theory about this video that we're watching right now. I have a theory that this guy is attracted to the blue people and he wants to jerk off to them, but he's ashamed. So he had to come up with like a reason for his shame. So he, he made this video that connected the blue people to Shaitan. Let's take a stand for God. Let's not put these wicked things before our eyes that clearly do have an effect on people's minds. Let's turn to the pages of the Word of God and let's get in the truth so we will not be deceived by the counterfeit. If you were blessed by this and you think other people should see this, give it a thumbs up. That really helps. Dude, again, man, as you know, as a Christian myself, practicing, by the way, seeing stuff like this, man, it's just, it's just so cringe. It's just so sad what's become of this beautiful religion that I love so much. It's just so sad. It's like what Americans have done to it, bro. Like th this is like what people think of nowadays when they think of Christians, bro. Just like weird conspiracy theorists. I think I, my blood pressure went up a little bit while watching this because it was just so like out there. I'm glad that it has gotten- Oh my out. God, bro. Um, Dude, that voice threw me off. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That. That was rude, but that just that that was like a jump scare, bro.